Welcome to the channel everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Yeah, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Mega, mega chill. Uh, should have this game done in about between two and three hours. And we are dual streaming. We're going to try this once again. Dual streaming, multi-streaming on Twitch as well as YouTube. So greetings to the wussies out there on YouTube. How are you all doing? We're the live after the fact. Appreciate you being here. And of course the... Uh, the Twitch followers, thank you so much for following. And uh, let's get into this game and see what it's all about. I haven't played it yet, but uh, we're going to give it a go. So basically, like a little indie game, short story. I'd imagine it's going to look pretty similar to what we did over on um, Lake, which was a very, very cool game. Really, really enjoyed it. So uh, let's go. So mom wants me to pack up my room to get ready for the move next week. It's taken a while, but I'm pretty close. Just a few things left before I can cross it off my to-do list. Greetings, Bill. How are you doing? Right, so this is a, a hunt. Interesting. The hunt for buried bootlegger treasure prohibits pre prohibition in America was meant to stop people across the country from drinking alcohol in bars in their homes. But when it achieved what but what it achieved was creating a booming industry of illegal alcohol imports, especially from Canada. Much of the so called bootlegging was done in dead of night, ferrying barrels of alcohol across the border and and huge sums of cash back to Canada, but much of this money was stashed, hidden, buried stateside by bootleggers for safekeeping until the coast was clear to bring it home, and some of the illicit treasure must have been left behind when bootleggers were arrested by the authorities or killed in underworld dealings gone wrong. The locations of these abandoned caches of riches may be lost to time, but hence and clues remain. My father and I have spent many a summer vacation tracking down potential spots to search for this left behind bootlegger gold. None yet successful, but these local legends and the history behind the is fascinating too. Alrighty. Interesting.
Ah, Nevada. Home to all manner of folksy cryptids and cool dads. I guess I'll have to pack this after my next shift. see them. B, how's it going, dude? How are you doing, mate? I guess all of this is uh, means something to somebody. <laughs> I mean. I'm supposed to look at all these things and I don't know. She's a brain. say in the first i'm the first to sign your crack jason <laughs> i like jason jason sounds like fun are oh, you be yeah Envy, you'd be surprised this is the kind of the games i play mate be very surprised chill games go go watch uh, the lake series that i did absolutely fantastic game that really really good wait what's that say Actually, I should read all about it. It was awesome working with you in the newspaper this year. See you in the funny pages. Okay. All right. Let's pack it up. Nothing else in here. Sure has enough uh, trash. Oh right, I was supposed to feed you, poor little guy. That's a Tamagotchi, man. 
I was, I was meant to read that. Damn it. Okay, what else is there to pack up here? Let's turn this radio off. Much better. Oh. Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? What is it? Oh, it's nothing really. Remember, uh... This? Gah! <laughs> what is it? It's of the dog we had growing up, Lady. Your Aunt August made it when she was a kid. My god. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, about... The estate sale was... weird. Having all those people in the house, picking through Grandma's stuff. I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom... I just... <sighs> we took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us, I know. Want to just take a minute and look around and see what's left? I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell picture. <laughs> Amazing that no one bought it, right? Just shocking. Ah. <laughs> uh... So you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Yep, all done. Okay. Well, just remember that everything's got to be packed by Wednesday, so we can get it all out of here on time. I know. Ooh, so dapper. Was this Grandpa's? Grandpa Leo was a... An inspector for the county. What's that mean? He inspected things for the county. Oh, <laughs> great, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> Commercial buildings, mostly. When we were driving around town, he'd point out the ones he'd inspected. I remember he was very proud of inspecting the department store. You know, the big one on Old Main Street? Every foot of electrical, fire sprinklers, alarm system, everything. He'd say he was the only thing keeping half the buildings in town from burning down. Electrical fires are no joke.
taller than you were. Who's taller now? You are. But, but I've still got time. We did our best, but the results were... Ugh. I've got to take more pics with Francine this year. We're so cute. Maybe I should start carrying a camera around. Hmm. Who are these people? Mom's friends? The dark pictures? Uh, no, I haven't. Is it similar to this kind of vibe? Frostbite, how you doing, man? What? No one bought this masterpiece? I'm downright offended. I made this when I was, what, four? At Frankenmuth. Yeah, at that pottery demonstration they did. They'd call little kids up from the audience and show them how to do it. I was, I was so excited. I was jumping up and down, waving my hand, because I knew that Grandma likes pots. She kept it up on this display shelf with all her other pieces all those years since you gave it to her. Oh, honey. It's okay. I... I think I'm gonna hold on to it. Grandma held on to it all this time. She wouldn't have wanted me to throw it away. Wow. A few pieces of pottery that my mom collected from around the world are still here. I'm surprised they didn't all sell. I think this one is from South America, not sure which country. And this one's Japanese. I've never even left the country. Why haven't we ever gone anywhere cool? Niagara Falls isn't cool. It isn't Japan. Well, it's a lot easier to drive to Niagara Falls than Japan. Cheaper, too. But wouldn't it be fun? Me and you, an intercontinental mother-daughter adventure? Maybe an intra-continental adventure. Hmm, I'm thinking of a certain place. Somewhere warm and southwestern. Somewhere where, say, my own father currently resides. <sighs> Listen, we've discussed this. We're not going to Nevada to visit Penn. It's not gonna happen. Well, what if I just went by myself? By yourself? No way. It's a bad idea. How come? There's a bunch of reasons. Like? Like, I said so, and I'm your mother. <sighs> Did Grandma start dressing like this after you moved out of the house? Mm-hmm. After my father passed, my mother, well... <laughs> Turned into a hippie. <laughs> a bit of a free spirit, let's say. Doesn't look like that rubbed off on August much. I think it might have. To push her in the opposite direction. Oh, how did this end up down here? Huh. 
Must have been in a drawer of something that got sold. This is from one of the first digs Dad and I went on. Oh, it was kind of adorable how excited you both got about going on those digs. I remember being so sure that we would actually find bootlegger gold. Or at least a clue about it. <laughs> Your dad. <sighs> well, at the very least, he certainly had a way of firing up your imagination. I'll give him that. Oh, hey. It's August. Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But... <laughs> that's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. Unbelievable. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not gonna help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, let's go. Hey, Ma! Actually, maybe I should just put this back. I am the very model of a modern major general. La 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 da 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 mineral. <laughs> this is uh, so funny. It's it's definitely a, a good uh, change of pace for sure. Uh, very very similar to Lake, and I really really enjoyed that game. What's this? Oh, it's a hook pole thing to pull down the hatch to the attic. Could August's book be up in the attic? With Grandma's things? Could be. All right. We can go up there, but... You go first. Okay, come on up! <coughs> Damn, it's dusty. Now, where's that book? Okay, well, this is just creepy stuff. Why are these up here? You'd rather they were downstairs? Good point.
Whoa. Grandma's wedding dress? I wore it on my wedding day, too. And you can wear it when you get married. I'm not getting married. <laughs> you don't know that. Did you know you were going to get married when you were my age? Sure. Or I always thought I would. Well, I know, too. And I know I'm not. I'm a lone wolf. A bird that flies solo. Some sort of wolf bird? Yeah. I can both do wolf things and fly around. But one thing a lone wolf bird does not do is get married. Huh. And why is that? No time. Too busy howling and soaring and making my paper. That's how you feel now, but you might change your mind when the time comes. You know, also, if you don't get married, you can't get divorced. So, that's a plus. Are you saying you wish your father and I had never gotten married? You know you wouldn't be here right now if we hadn't. Oh, don't even get me started on having kids. And anyway, you can have kids without getting married. So you're not getting married. You're not having kids. You've got your whole life figured out at age 16. You don't want the dress. I get it. <sighs> I mean... But it's a nice dress. It meant a lot to Grandma. And to you. Isn't that enough? Oh, Grandpa Leo was a bowler? He and Dad have that in common. What do you mean? Dad loves bowling. No, he doesn't. But he's always wearing those bowling shirts. Didn't he used to be in a league or something? <sighs> Honey, he just thinks those shirts make him look hip. Bowling shirts? Are you kidding? I thought he must have so much bowling pride that he wore those shirts around in spite of them being obviously not cool. No, no. They're definitely a fashion statement. I think he got the idea from that movie Swingers. This explains so much. Like why you never once saw him actually bowl? Yes. What's under here? Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Hmm, yeah. There's a bunch of old stuff in here. But, uh... Mom? Hold on, it might still be here somewhere. There's something... Ah, here it is. Maybe if your dad had read this, he wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! What's in there? Ah, oh, this is just some junk from the old summer house. Your family had a summer house? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. I think there were just too many memories there. Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here! Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger Gold. In our backyard, you mean? Indubitably. Lady probably buried a bone there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. Only cartoon dogs bury bones, but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? It was a different time, Mother. Sure.
Recently, one of my daughters gave me a tremendous shock. She's married, apparently, to her colleague Bo, a college Bo, and her tied the knot without my knowledge. She claims they that they wanted to skip the wedding to save up for a house, but I'm very hurt by her exclusion. She knows that I have dreamed of a big wedding for a long time. How can I convince her that a marriage found in secrecy will never last? Miffed mother-in-law. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, there's so much to read here. You guys can pause it and read if you want. That's interesting. All of this is pretty interesting. Did Grandma write these? During the last summer, we visited the cottage. Was she... okay? Looks like her editor didn't think she was. It was only a year after my father died. I think Millie was still figuring things out, too. It must have been hard. I'm sure it was. They had been married 20 years? I'm, I meant for you. Oh, right. I mostly just tried not to think about it. That doesn't seem very healthy. It got me through. Cool van. <laughs> I did love that van. The engine died for good while we were visiting the summer home, and so I just turned it into my bedroom after that. <laughs> you slept in a broken down van? Well, the summer house was small, and I always had to share a bedroom with August. When I realized I could have my own space just by sleeping out in the van, it was a no brainer. Did you, like, redo it to be like a bedroom inside? Yeah. Your grandfather pulled the seats out for me and I set up a little bed frame with a mattress and all sorts of posters and pillows and shelves and things like that. <laughs> wow, that's actually cool. Could I do that? With our car? No! Yeah, just take the car apart. <laughs> Alright, well there's that book. We'll be together soon. I love you, and we're going to love our new life together, free and happy. <laughs> well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Was Grandma Helen... Planning to run off with this guy? No! Not the Helen I knew. <gasps> Intrigue! Grandma, what were you up to? Weird little rocks. Ah, oh, these little stones were from the stream near the summer house. You painted them? Me in August. The rocks from the stream were so smooth, but I forget why we painted them. <laughs> you were really that bored, huh? There weren't many TV channels back then. Mm, tragic. Whoa, there was a crime spree? Oh, yeah. He had department stores and fancy clothing shops. Places kept getting robbed. The police couldn't figure out how the crooks were pulling it off. It went on for, well, I mean, it felt like months. So what happened? Did they get caught? Now that I don't remember. Grandma's sunglasses? Vintage. Can I keep them? You think they're your style? 
Yeah, sure. Just be careful with them. I'll guard them with my life. Grandma's... diary? Should we? Oh, I don't think... we should really... Oh, Grandma wouldn't have cared. I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. What is this? So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never heard about this? No, this is- and, and what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. I... Okay, well, now we've gotta go check the old place out. Maybe we'll find that bootlegger gold? Oh, not this again. And to see if we can figure out what really happened with Grandma Helen and the mystery man. Don't you want to know? I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Come on. It'll be fun. An adventure. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning out the fridge. Come on. We never get to do stuff together. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? Well... You do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <sighs> oh, God. You know, a little change of scenery would be nice. Ha, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. I could really use a break from all this, even if it's just for a weekend. Pack your overnight bag. Yes! And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. Do you really think we're gonna find buried gold at your grandma's old summer home? Well... No, not really. It's like Bigfoot. He's just... fun to look for. I see. Like Nessie. Like, like X-Files. I don't remember that episode of X-Files. The one where they look for buried gold? Why would the FBI send them to look for buried gold? The government's always looking for money. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Well, if I find it, you'll be the first to know. And then the government. What about August's book? We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Okay. A road trip! This is gonna be great. Thanks for the follow, polite mind. How you doing, man? Appreciate that. Appreciate the support, dude. Alright, we're on the road to the secret summer home to find out what's the deal with Grandma Helen's mystery man. Who knows what we might find. It'll be a while before we get there, though.
What are you doing back there? Are you gonna do your homework? No. Reading in the car makes me carsick. Then what are you messing with back there? I don't know. So stop it. It's not safe. <laughs> what? Really? You're driving. I can do what the hell I want. What the hell? What is this thing? What highway are we on anyway? Oh, this is the old two-lane north route. From before there was a freeway. <laughs> it used to be the main route north, but now it's pretty off the beaten path. It's the way we always took to get up to the summer place when I was growing up, though. So I wanted to take it again. It's nice out here. Peaceful. Mm-hmm. Used to be a lot more cars on the road, and little shops and towns along the way. But with all the traffic going up the freeway now, everything kind of died off. Yeah, so I have turned on copyright, turned off copyrighted music, so they just play generic tunes, so I'm not going to bother switching on, this doesn't sound very good. Uh, otherwise, you get copyright strikes on Tube of the U. When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh, when I was, I guess, 15? Your age? I'm 16. I meant about your age. <laughs> so... A super long time ago. Wow. No one's been there since, like, the 19th century. <laughs> ha ha. What was the Industrial Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, how <laughs> old do you think I am? <laughs> I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think, summer of 68. 1968. So, like, 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. <laughs> <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything. I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. Sounds really nice. So why did we never go? I don't know. It was somewhere I always associated with being a kid. Yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? No, Dad's a hard worker. <laughs> okay. He'd work late at the video store all the time. He'd be there with the closing shift. Watching movies on the store monitors. <laughs> You've got to have something on for the customers. Closing is a pain in the butt. And he'd manage the schedules and store finances. He even made the window displays. Fine, those were pretty cool. No. I mean, I guess there is a real reason I never told your father about the old summer place. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades out there in the middle of nowhere? It's got to be falling apart. It could still be in good shape. Maybe somebody's been, you know, keeping it up. <laughs> you hope squatters have been living in it? No, like, you know, like shoe elves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'd, it'd be nice if it were magically still in good shape, considering we need a new place to live. To live in? Tess, I, I'm sorry, it's... You couldn't live there, and not, not year-round. Why not? 
Well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. Well, it's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? Okay, you know, we're not gonna be homeless. But we're getting kicked out of Grandma Helen's house. We don't have anywhere else to live. We'll find a place. What kind of place? I don't know yet. We're gonna be living in this car, aren't we? No. Just like when you lived in that van. We can find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? We need money. Believe me, Tess, I know. <sighs> if Dad was still here... Excuse me? He, he could help. Pay for things. <laughs> if your father and I were still together, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Well, have you asked Dad if he could send back some money? To help? Absolutely not. <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. But Dad moved out west for work. <laughs> well, don't laugh at me. I'm not. I'm not. It's just... work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? Then, then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not gonna step in and take that responsibility for him. Like I always did. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. <sighs> you idealize your father, you know that? And I just <sighs> don't really want to talk about it right now. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. Are you sending text messages to someone? Yes. Yes, I am. To who? It's to whom, Mother? It was Dad. Hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? Uh... No comment. It's all right. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. You're not my enemy. Or dads. Sometimes it feels that way. Well, it's... not supposed to.
I just didn't think it would still be here. Um, Mom, it... Well, it is. <laughs> and it looks to be surprisingly well-preserved. It's... Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... Rundown? Weathered than the last time I was here. But I guess I am too. Want to start looking around? Yeah. It's your cool van. And it's locked. Gotta keep all the cool stuff in there secure. Please tell me the keys are somewhere. I need to see what a lava lamp looks like after it just sits there mutating for 30 years. They might have been... Hmm... I can't remember. Don't do this to me, Mother. I have to see how much tie-dye is in there. Please. Oh! August was always trying to steal my keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. They're probably in her room. Oh, the little criminal! All right, I'm on the case. The cool stuff is so close, I can taste it. What's in here? That's just August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in. Is this, uh... Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer, like, towed by a big truck. Go on. <laughs> it's the same thing. A mobile home doesn't have wheels well why didn't you just say that well I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Well, what's that thingy back there? Hmm, it's a maintenance hatch for getting down into the crawl space under the house. Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Well, if we could get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. And also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. A freaking water heater fell through the wall and we can't get around it. But there's a weird hatch in the floor. Maybe I could go under the house and come up through there. There's access to the crawl space around back. 
retro phone. <laughs> okay, who's old enough to remember those phones? God knows, we used to have one. Booze. <laughs> Holy hell. What a mess. Nightshade? It was because he could only come out at night. Or stay in the shade, as I remember it. Okay, well that's spooky as hell. August was just a kid. She needed someone to talk to. Did it have to be a freaky, imaginary friend who lurked in the shadows? I mean, what about you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate at that age. I had my own problems. If I had a little sister and Dad died, I'd be there for her to talk to. It's different. You don't know what having a little sister is like. Are you trying to say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving after her father died? I helped. I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... I could have used more help, too. I don't think I had anything left to give. So August made a new friend for herself. One who would always listen. <laughs> you remember you, those phones? <laughs> yeah. Right, let's go up back and see. Can you remember your old phone number? <laughs> I can't remember my old phone number. I probably remember one of my girlfriend's phone numbers, that's for sure. Booty call, you know. You know how it is. Okay, this so is somewhere out back. There it is. So, this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. So, this is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky knees of yours. <laughs> wow. Those creaky okay, knees. into Jeez. the filthy crawl space you go. See you on the other side. Definitely something I want to pick up there. I mean, there's so much ugh, skeletons. What the? Wait, first things first. Ooh, this is good. Mom's gotta see this. I'm writing you from our new home, right on the water. I was looking and looking, and I realized there's no better home for us than the one we could just pull up anchor and split if we really need to. So I bought us a houseboat. It's really something else. Bought it from an older fellow who'd kept it perfect and was just done having to maintain it in these autumn years. Now just to get you and those kids moved up here, I hope it's been a good summer. Right back discreetly, and let's make plans for the big move. Something I've learned since Leo died is that being loaded with cash is the only way to live. Get ready to leave all your worries behind. Interesting. What does it say? The idol... The idol on? Alright, burn time. Oh cool. Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Hey mom, I found something. Look, look. 
Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like... well... It looks like a boat. A houseboat. Hmm. Can't see much of the surrounding area. It's near... trees? Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. That narrows it down. Do you remember... Well, did it seem like... Grandma wanted to... Leave my father? I mean... Hmm... I guess when I was around your age, I started wondering why they were together in the first place. They didn't seem to... Make sense together? Yeah. Huh. I remember when I started wondering that about you and Dad. Why you were together. You're both so different. Did you used to have more in common? Um, well, when you're together at first, everything about each other is new. It can cover up a lot of things. But when you get used to each other, that's when it can be hard. But sometimes, you know, by that point, it's too late. Too late? Because you have a kid? Well, that can be one factor. So you think you and Dad would have split up a lot sooner if I wasn't around? I... Well, I'm sorry I held everything up, okay? Maybe you would have been happier if... if you hadn't been stuck with Dad for so long. Honey, that's not how it is. It's not as simple as that, and it's not because of you. There's... there's a lot more to it. We'll talk about it someday. When's someday? Not today. Then when? <sighs> Not today. What's this about? Oh, that was the town where my boyfriend Kurt lived. You know, we were a summer thing, but we were planning on how we could keep seeing each other once we both went home after the summer. I guess I was feeling pretty lost. I latched onto him and held on tight. He became my plan for how I would be okay. And that didn't work out? Yeah, like these things often do. So how'd you end up with Dad? Sorry? Well, you didn't end up with Kurt. How'd you end up with Dad? Oh, it was a lot of years later that I met your dad. After college, I moved back to Greenville for my bookkeeping job. It was, it was actually when I was in one of the first plays I performed in at the Andromeda. Your dad was in the audience. He hung around outside the stage door after the show and flagged me down. He said there was a problem with the production. He was so distracted by my beauty that he couldn't pay attention to anything else going on in the play. Aww. That's so romantic. It's like something out of a rom-com. I, I found it endearing at the time. He was very persistent. Was Dad big into local theater? Uh, no. He told me later that he'd actually been at the play on a date with someone else. He told her he needed to head home, then hung around the theater to talk to me. <laughs> wow. Bold. Did you find that endearing? I guess at the time I found it flattering. And a little funny. <laughs> I should have realized it was a red flag. Wait, are... Are you saying Dad cheated on you? Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Just... Uh... You know, it's a sleazy move. So... Not the kind of thing Kurt would have done? Oh, I don't know.
You're young, idealistic, and you trust easily. You have an open heart and a lot of pain to heal. Don't let someone who's more flesh than substance take advantage of that. Alrighty. Precious stone? This was to you? Subtle, right? <sighs> My mother was against me and Kurt being together from the start. To be fair, I would go off to who knows where with him and sometimes not come back till the morning. Now I understand how worried she must have been as a mother. <gasps> you were a bad kid? Do you ever thank your lucky stars I'm not a bad kid? I don't know. You and Francine can stay up pretty late. <laughs> Playing The Sims and eating pizza rolls. <laughs> yeah, you kids are wild these days. Now, what is this? During the summers when we'd come here, I had a summer job as a waitress at the drive-in. On roller skates? Like in the movies? Yeah, I guess. And those movies were based on reality, you know. You were cute! Oh, I don't know. Oh, please, Mom, stop. You were cute then, and you're, uh, hot mom now. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> According to the boys at school, you are my hot mom. You didn't know about this? What? No! I am not. Oh yeah, no, it's it's great. It's great having all the boys at school talking about how hot your mom is. It's great. Regardless, this photo of you is real neat, and I think we should keep it. Sure, why not? Hot moms. Hot moms. <laughs> What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. I think... Look, we could twist the latch open if... I think I could get this open with a flathead screwdriver. Awesome. Where's one of those? Um... Oh, I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. Nice. Daughter Grandma Helen's room is broken, but it's going to take more than that to keep me from snooping. Mom said we might be able to jimmy it open with a little screwdriver she kept in a van. Go mechanics! Oh man, I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Fort State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. I can make my own choices. What kind of choice is that, to be broke? I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18... Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. The hell's that all about? There's the key. Aha! Uh -huh. This must be the key to the van. Oh, how fun. Wait, did they not get to use these?
No video games back then, I guess. Poor, deprived kids. One day August rode her bike to town because of how sunny it was. Because it was sunny, her friend Nightshade had to follow behind under the trees because he lives in the shade and shadows and can't go in the sun. August laughed at Nightshade as Nightshade ran along under the trees and she and Nightshade made jokes together. When August and Nightshade got to town, there were boys outside the general store. They saw August's special tie that made her safe but it didn't make her safe from... Hmm. From them. The mean boys came closer. They said, Who are you talking to? And what are you wearing, stupid? August said, My dad's tie. The mean boy said, Your dad must be stupid. August was crying, but the mean boys didn't care. They laughed and laughed. August looked for Nightshade, but Nightshade couldn't help because he was trapped in the shade under the tree far away. When the mean boys went away, August went under the tree with Nightshade. August's special tire was all dirty. She gave Nightshade a hug to feel better, but it didn't help enough. Okay. Interesting. Poor kid. Did she get made fun of a lot? At school and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little, but she toughened up. I guess... Right around this age, when we came back from our last summer trip. What changed? I don't know. Oh my god, Aunt August. I have so many questions. I don't know if I agree with this advice. This doesn't sound very... Millie to me. Millie was just a character, honey. I, I know, but didn't she usually give advice Grandma would have given? How could you tell a little kid that getting picked on was their own fault? I don't know if that's what she meant. It's right here! She's like, if people are mean to you, you should change. What, the bullies are right? She never told me that kind of thing when girls were being mean to me at school. She just told me to be myself. I guess... Well, maybe if Mother could have gone back and given August the advice she gave you instead, she would have. I hope so. You were upset after what happened today, and that's alright. You needed time to yourself instead of talking to me, and that's alright too. But upset as you are, you need to remember, boys only tease girls because they like them, or because they're different. You cannot control the cruelty of others, but you can discourage it through your own appearance and behavior or learn to play along. It's time to grow up now. I know you will. Yeah, that's a bit harsh. I mean, depending on how old the kid is, I guess, you know. Come on, let's open it up. Let's oh, see this tie dye. Everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar, <laughs> a concerning scent of mold. I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. It's the You're just lamp. looking for the screwdriver, right? Right. Don't get too nosy, all right? All right, oh. all right. <laughs> look at all this stuff. <laughs> look at everything. Snoop away, girl. 
Yeah, there's a lava lamp. Ah, oh, alas. Not so groovy anymore. <laughs> I got a lava lamp, folks. I do actually have one. I'm looking at it right now. It's an original math moss. An original math moss, man. Absolutely love the thing. It's a blue one. I turn it on every now and then. Get a vibe. Alrighty. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. Well, my apologies, guys. I just had someone come and turn up to do some maintenance on the house. Uh, my bad. Anyway, where were we? Wow. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. Wow. Brutal, Lori. Brutal. But... Kind of fair. Dear Opal. Are you getting my letters? I haven't heard from you since you told me about Kurt. I've been writing you every week. Things at the park are lame. All the fun people left and now it's just me, Gordon, and the dogs from Sandusky. Sandusky. If I don't get anything back, I'm just going to assume you're too preoccupied with Kurt to write to me. At least one of us is <laughs> having fun. I'll talk to you when school starts, I guess. Unless I'm too busy. Wow. Yeah, that's a bit brutal. Jeez. Death of a salesman. The school full scandal. Alrighty. I guess we've got to find the screwdriver, right? In the glove box. There we go, screwdriver. 
A letter. Holy shit. Babe, the summer's been real hot, real out there. But I've got to split. I'm not hip to another winter with snow. I'm on my bike headed to Cali. Look me up if you're ever out that way. Kurt just bailed on her. <laughs> oh, dearie me. That's not good. Owner's manual. Alright. Okay. Is that the plectrum? The vinyl on the floor, disgraceful. Oh, it'd be so cool if that could play. How is the stuff? Cool as you'd hoped? Well, I found, um, this. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I put all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. A week? That's all? He cried for a week? He seems like maybe he just wanted something different than you. Uh, well, he could have told me that. Instead, he just played along, told me what I wanted to hear. Until one day it was just goodbye. Not even face to face, just this selfish little note. And he was gone. There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day mm. they won't be. Hmm. You put it from his perspective, though. He doesn't want to be an... He, he sounds like a surfer kind of guy. <laughs> he doesn't want to be in winter. He wants to, like... He's heading for Cali, man. He's going for the coast. Come on. So what? You shouldn't have friends or relationships? Well, no, I just mean... You can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away. And be okay on your own when they do. Are you... Hmm. That's You're making advice. it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom, what happened? With you and Dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <sighs> See? This is why you need to be okay on your own. I'm okay. If mom. you're fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. <laughs> Remember that. It's emotionally, this is the wrong way to deal with it. Completely. Well... I've got the screwdriver. Good. That's good. All right, let's get back into August's room and open up this other section here. Ah, door, we meet again, but this time I'm ready for you. Hey, good work. Thanks, Mom. Oh, it's going to be a lot to read here. Oh, the space for writing messages. Darling, now wait. It sounds like someone's getting cold feet all of a sudden. We had a plan. Leo dies, I make tracks for the border, and when the dust settles, you follow me. This doesn't work if only one of us makes tracks. Wait, what? I've got everything you could ever hope for up here. A place of our own, a quiet little town where nobody knows our names, and a pile of cash that'll keep us going till who knows when. 
The kids will love it too. What kid wouldn't want to live on a boat? Get these silly ideas out of your head. Get back on track and we'll be together soon. Oh shit. Would you have loved living on a boat? <laughs> I don't think so. I wonder what age he thought I was. He couldn't have thought a teenage girl would want to... Wait. I, I hadn't even thought of that. My mother was just going to take me and August, and we were all going to run off to Canada? I mean, of course she wasn't just going to leave us behind, but... Sounds like Grandma had some big plans worked up. Well, look, he said she started having cold feet. And she must have written him back and said she wasn't sure if she could come after all. You think she realized that maybe her kids wouldn't have been so happy moving onto a boat with some random man in Canada? Can I start calling him Canada Man? You can call him whatever you want. <laughs> Canada this is Man. so strange. I'm gonna call him Maple Boy. Love makes you do crazy things. A Love or grief? Maple Boy. Both? Maybe even Fish Boy. Call him Fish Boy. Oh, another diary, is it? What the? The Lagniappi astrology book? Bible. The Holy Bible Illustrated. Of course, somebody was there sketching whatever happened, eh? Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> What's Freaky. A slipper. Yet appealing. Oh, Grandma. What is that? Looks like shit. Is there a poop in the corner? What is going on here? Oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? <sighs> uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Hmm. This gives me an idea. The little key... From Grandma's diary? <gasps> right. Bell, Hell's Bells. Helen, you can't just leave me here. I did all this for you. All for you. And those are my kids too, you know? I have a right. Pierre Lautrec. Bugs nine de hup to lake. Yeah. Something What's that? right? Wha I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids. Uh, I... W was Grandpa Leo n not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, hmm. look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9. Hop to Lake. Carndale, Ontario. We should go check it out. What? No. No? But... Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff... I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner and- Mom, <laughs> stop. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. It's about who I really am. 
Was my grandfather really my grandfather? Who was this guy? Who, who are we? These are big questions, Mom, and you're just gonna turn around and drive home? Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I, I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with, and, and why she never told me about it, and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other... Then why not, right? Right. Glad I could convince you. No, you just happened to be right. <laughs> exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. What the heck? Is this Pierre Lautrec guy mom's real dad? Scandal! We found an address for some place in Canada. We've got to go check it out. Time to hit the road. What is that? Michigan. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Grandma was a naughty girl. King, queen, royal flush. Okay. Grandma was naughty. Did you do these with Grandma? No, August did. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Really? Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out in the garden now? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. But the plants worked so hard growing them. You can't just take them. Aw, well now I feel bad for the plants. She was a sensitive kid. So am I. So what happened? Hmm? To August. She doesn't seem so sensitive now. Oh, life happened, I guess. All right, time to order that room service. Uh, this is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? Hotels do room service. This is a motel. 
Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. Right. But the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait. It's been a long day. I'll be back with something to eat soon. Well, all right. That's almost like room service. What do you want to eat? Oh, um, burger? Um, burger it is. Do your homework. I knew I shouldn't have brought my backpack on this trip. No, I'm excited to do my homework. Well, I guess there's not much else to do cooped up in this motel room. Okay. Yay, coffee. Well, at least it's TV. With nothing on it. Can we change channels? Wait, can we actually type up a message? Oh, that's a pity. Well, you always said mom wanted you to leave and that's why you're not living with us anymore. But mom said you were the one that wanted to leave. I'm so confused. Hey, it's burger time. How's that homework coming along? Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. 
Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August? Guess where I am? At a motel in Poetan. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? Mobile home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some questions about mom and dad. <laughs> I just do you think could dad have yeah she's here hold on she wants to talk to you I'm going out for a smoke back in a few hello Teresa hi Aunt August this is all it's Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, that's one word for it. How do you feel about it? I think it's pretty exciting. Yeah. I mean, it's a bigger deal for you and Mom. I just think, I don't know, it's just kind of... It's like seeing a whole new side of Grandma, now that she's gone. Yeah, I was still pretty young when our dad died, so... I think it's a lot harder on your mom than on me. I never really knew him. I'm sorry. It's all right. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. We found some of your old art. Stuff you made as a kid. Oh, that's so fun. I was a creative kid. Do you ever do that kind of stuff now? Well, no. Not really. Not as much as I'd like to. Although I have to do a lot of creative stuff at work. But it would be nice to get back into writing. What about drawing? <laughs> I was a dedicated artist, but never a very good one. I'll leave the visual stuff to you. What about the house? What was it like? It, uh... It was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. I guess part of me hoped we could just move out there. <laughs> move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? What? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? No. What about mom? Can, can she stay with you? Of course. Both of you. But she doesn't want to. What do you mean? She... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. Why didn't... Oh, hold on. Work is calling. Hey, uh, I gotta go. Love you, Teresa. L love you too, Anne August. How you doing? Okay, so that's interesting. So now... Yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff happening. Come on, I don't want to change the channel. Alright, let's get some sleep then. Let's see where we head off. And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line, and of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before, and he's just staring at her. Uh-huh. And Todd needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense, and it's dead quiet. It's opening night! And so then, she just says, Who are you? The Pirate of Penzance? Tess? What? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? 
Yeah, no. Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> if you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's fine. I can do that. Hmm. Time to take some messages, I think. Wait, where's my cell phone? Did I leave it in my backpack? Oh no. What? My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. <sighs> Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. We have to go back and get it. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. You don't understand! I just need it. That's not much of a reason. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We yes, can... we have. We left one hour and 18 minutes ago. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get you your... No, I, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. You, you, you were lying to me. And I was so distracted, and now, and now you won't even go back and- Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I was lying to you? When was I lying to you? You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Why would you just lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us? I didn't... I didn't lie. I... She doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house, and when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't gonna sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. Why don't you like August? Excuse me? Where did you get that idea? You always act like she's a pain when she's just trying to help. It's like you're jealous of her. First of all, I am not jealous of her. It's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself. Especially if you're so far away. Your own family is an afterthought. I had to do all the work for Grandma. August just stayed in Chicago. You're making her sound so selfish. She's not like that. You've never lived with her, Tess. It's not gonna be like your little vacation. August thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. Wow, I can't imagine what that feels like. Do you think you're the only person with problems and the rest of us are just running around doing whatever? You're exhausting. No wonder dad left. Don't bring your dad Ooh. into this. Ouch. Why not? Why can't we talk about dad, actually talk about dad for once? The divorce? I don't want to have this discussion right now. Fine. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? When I see Dad when I go next month. You're not going to Nevada next month. Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business, I'm going- From your and... business. I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Fine. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. Uh-oh. You... Uh -oh. Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected me to say, Oh, sure, honey. Feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. What? What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy 
just like always, he gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. Uh... So sure, go to Nevada, ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. And not only did I lose my phone, but I got in a fight with mom. This sucks. I guess now we're just going to sit here in silence until we get to the stupid houseboat. What a fun road trip. That was sarcastic. It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's through here. Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out. Before I change my mind. Agreed. Well, it looks like we finally made it to the house, but we saw in the picture, most likely owned by the mystery man, aka Pierre Lautrec. Whatever we find here, better be worth it. Still looking at this, kind of reminds me of that Dear Esther game that we played. Lautrec. Lautrec? That's the name of the mystery man. Think he's got mail? Hmm. Guess we'll never know. It's locked anyway. Maybe that's for the best. Tampering with other people's mail is illegal. We found a mailbox level a trek. We can't get into it though. Mom says it would be illegal, but that's quitter talk. <laughs> Hello, what's going on here then? Prepare for major weather. Larry's shack, and that's the one there. It's been crossed out. The idle one on. The idle on. Well, I should have luck in getting on there. Let's see if we can get in here. Find out what's going on. Hello? Isn't that the same Fisher thing? The same lure? Why would you look at her plate? <gasps> Pierre! Pierre was here. Looks like we're on the right track. Please remember this is a shared facility for all residents who fish off of their boats or the dock. If you borrow equipment to clean, da -da -da, this means you're Pierre. Oh, Pierre's a naughty boy. All right. <laughs> Emily, how you doing? You Crumpler stout. Oh, I do not like a stout beer. Lots of fish and lures. You're awake? Well, at least you're awake. There's that. How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. We want to get across to the boat, but if we try to jump, 
that gap will break our shin bones. Maybe there's something around there that we can use to get across like a plank, like this. This is so stupid. We're trespassing. We need to go back home. But we... What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted, or... or... But we're already here. And the trailer home... Mobile home. The mobile home was fine. I, I just think... If we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? Mm. Okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. No. You can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> all right. We'll do it together. But I should go first. No, I should go. No way! What if you fall <laughs> off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor... Aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before <laughs> I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. Call it heads or tails. Tails. I won! Just be careful and stay <laughs> away from the edge. For God's sakes, calm down. There we go. Made it across. Pierre. I was surprised to receive another letter from you so soon. A houseboat? It's a romantic thought, living right on the water. But don't you suppose it might be a bit small for both of us and two children, including a teenager? Couldn't you have written to me before making this decision? We are still here waiting for the heat to die down. While I'm excited to start our new life afresh, I have begun to rack up worries. How will the children react with all they've already been through? And what do you suppose my parents will think and us just disappearing? My poor mother, she's already lost a son-in-law. When people come looking for us, are you sure there's no other way? Hmm. A letter from Grandma. Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? I'd be Canadian. You wouldn't even exist. Whoa. What? Well, who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So this is like looking into an alternate reality. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? One where you and dad were still together? <sighs> I mean, I just wish you two were able to work things out. Well... It's not possible. There's no way to that reality from here. Hmm. Ever the optimist. Hello, what the f Wow, this is from when Grandma was really young. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. You look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Um, maybe you were just imagining things? What? Oh, you mean because he might not have been my father? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her smile. Anima. Well, no. Oh. Oh. Wow. So let's see. Cool. Tess, don't touch that! Why not? What? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. It's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean before that. You gotta peel the pages like, apart. <sighs> Never mind. Ew. And I think it was fringe jackets. The winter campus fashions in 1968. And patterned tights. But really? Put that down. Yeah, it's got jizz all over it, mate. Yeah. Yeah. It's locked. This must be where the money is. 
I seriously doubt that, but regardless, we'll have to... Can I just kick it in? I'd say you're free <laughs> to try, but I don't want you hurting yourself. How sturdy can it be? <gasps> Ow! All right, pretty, pretty sturdy. sturdy. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. Pierre's office, whatever's in there, could blow the lid off this whole thing. Of course, it's locked because nothing's ever easy. Yeah, downstairs, can't get downstairs. Boy, really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock? Low tide. Gonna pick up the mug, I mean, really. <laughs> it's a jazz mag. You know what I mean? Yeah. Peekaboo. Oh, okay. Kids room, obviously. No, oh, it's for four players. Sorry, Pierre. Interesting. Oh, here we go. Please don't go on about the silly ideas in my head. My concerns are far from silly. This affects all of us. You say we'll have everything we could ever hope for. It's full of bad music. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, but I'm not the one who decided to run, run off across the board and have silly little Helen pick up her entire life and her children's lives at the drop of a hat to follow, no matter how much money was involved. I hope for things that money can't buy treasured friendships I've held since I was a girl, my relationships with my parents and siblings, satisfying work where I get to help people, my children to grow up in the loving company of their grandparents and their friends. These are the things you asked me to give up, and for what? Isolation? An unfamiliar place? A leaky boat? Money to spend on what? What does it matter if everything else is lost? You tell him, Grandma. Yeah. Not one to mince words. All those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Kinda nice that she was thinking about you guys, too. Not just... uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to... learn French. <gasps> Sacre bleu! <sighs> oh no, it's already happening. <laughs> Mon dieu, do not speak as the French. I don't know the kids staying in here, mate. Come on, man. It's not big enough. It's got, you know, amenities and everything. So that's all right. A badger. Oh. Cash, travel supplies, lunch postcards, boat, idle on, poker at the shack, groceries, supplies for the girls, boat supplies, yeah. I mean, you know. Cash. I mean, interesting. Got a lot of cash lying around. Coffee can. Where's the money? Where's the money, Pierre? What have we done with our inheritance, Pierre? Oh, hang on. Robbers hit again, important. Uh oh. Local state police are looking for a group of thieves who made off with an undisclosed amount of cash taken from Climbing Clothiers in a burglary Saturday night. According to state police, 
The men broke into the store around 1.20 a.m. They dismantled the store safe, taking the money back before fleeing. There were no witnesses. Encouraging local businesses deposited all of their cash to the banks at the end of the business day, said Officer Randall Weston of the Porton Police. Until the burglars have been apprehended, it's too risky to leave any money in the store overnight. Mm. The burglary ring! Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? Maybe my mother sent it to him. For what? To keep him abreast of current events. Oh, come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And it wasn't robbery. It was burglary. What's the difference? A robbery is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware. I think. You think? <laughs> Listen, it's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. And why are they so sure it was men? What? It says the men broke into the store, but there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers. Like Catwoman. <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are you seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Why not? Why not? <laughs> she had two kids at home. So? And I just don't see it. Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse mm -hmm. me? Am I wrong? <sighs> Maybe not. <laughs> Equal opportunity robbers. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Politically correct. Yes, absolutely. That looks like a copper pan. This guy had money, man. No money in the oven. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Fair enough. We've got to look everywhere, right? Behind the fridge in drawers. Is my inheritance, Pierre? You drunken sailor. Mm -hmm. yeah, a little bar. Lots of drinking going on. I see. What kind of bottle is that? What does it say? French Quarter Old Blended Bourbon Whiskey. Sounds good. I'll take a double. That looks like gin of some sort. Stuart's Old Reserve. Wait, that one looks nice. Bottled in Bond Old Clarkson Straight Rye Whiskey. Hmm. 100% proof. <laughs> Jesus. You go blind after having one of those. Oh, there's another. Baker's Gold Standard Premium Pale Ale. Still uh, unopened. Alright. Right, here we go. Let's go through all the drawers. Oh, hello. We'll take that just in case. No, we can't. Boo. Ooh, pick up wine bottle. 1962. This dude had money. That back. Hide his money in the walls. Oh, it looks like we've got another one there. Okay, Let's see what else we got going on here. Cigarettes from whenever. Oh yeah, here we go. Josiah Lincoln. And he's a California recycler again. Okay. Yeah, cabinet. Can it be opened? No, it cannot. <coughs> Attention, every. Oh, man, what? This doesn't work. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. Smoking tobacco. Poker, huh? Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's back out again. Poker. Does that say dead? D. 
E A D. Oh, shit. Back up here again. Okay, let's go back down. There, there must be something down there that we've missed. There was another room here, wasn't there? Or was that it? Yeah, that was it. Hmm. Huh. French Court, Josiah Lincoln, Old Clarkson, Stuart's Califive, Lanier, Cabano, Rena Chablis, 4550, 1968. That's a lot of money in 1968. Okay, so then we've got to go back upstairs. Now we've got the key. Pierre, you bastard. Where's me money? Oh, there's another key there. I received your latest letter. This is my final response. You say you did all this for me, but you didn't. Everything you've done, you did for yourself. You were the one who, unsatisfied with our home, our income, and always wanted more. You were the one who made the decision to get more money through reckless illegal means. You were the one who decided to run to Canada to save your own skin without even telling me until it was too late to do anything but follow along. I'm not following anymore. You say these are your kids too. Of course they are, but they're my children as well. I'm here with them every day, comforting their grief, trying to console them over the loss of their father, trying my very hardest to keep up the ruse. But I'm getting used to it, used to doing this on my own, used to speaking for myself. To live in this new life, I'm regaining my footing. I'm starting to feel okay. Hmm. <sighs> so I guess that's it. Grandma had enough time on her own. Without Grandpa, without Pierre, she realized she liked things better that way. Can you blame her? I don't know. I would have gone for it. I mean, talk about romantic. A whole new life with somebody who'd go to all these lengths for you. A fresh start. A whole bunch of money. What's not to like? Having to leave behind everybody you know. Your parents and family and Anne make your kids live in hiding. She would have been on the run with a criminal. Is a little romance worth all that? Grandma didn't think so. But I'm not so sure. Looks like a mailbox key. Oh, I was hoping that would turn up. I swear, you could be so nosy sometimes. Yeah, to the mailbox and beyond. Where the hell do we get out of here? Oh, yeah. That sure as hell doesn't look safe. I mean, there's a caution thing over here. Bloody hell. Very much reminds me of that uh, Dear Est again. Okay. Let's see what he's got in the post box. Uh, of course. Looks envelope. like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Let's crack this bad boy open. Wait. Opening other people's mail? I don't know, Tess. Pretty sure the law frowns on breaking into people's houseboats, too. It's a little late to be getting squeamish now, don't you think? I suppose you have a point. Open Let's it. see what we've got here. It 
to whom it may concern. I now confess my culpability for a spate of burglaries which resulted in the theft of almost one and a half of a million dollars. I had worked as a property inspector for Geen County for over 10 years. At a poker game in 1966, I was approached by a man interested in trading blueprints and my knowledge for cash. He and a few others targeted department stores and other businesses that carried large amounts of cash overnight. This relationship developed and I became more and more involved. I was given 10% of the proceeds from the robberies in exchange for information on how they could evade detection from the store's security. As time went on, the stores they chose to hit became riskier and riskier. I had no way to back out of the arrangement as they had threatened not only my safety but that of my families as well. Seeing no other option, I falsified a death certificate with papers I lifted from the county office. Wait, this is her dad, dad. Her dad was the uh, building inspector thingy. So Pierre was her, f her father. I left my wife and daughters across the border under an assumed name. There we go. Giving them instructions to follow me. They never did. And I wish that regret having asked them to. What little of my stolen profits remain, I have destroyed. My wife, Helen, knew nothing of my crimes until it was too late. She only went along with the story of my death because she had no other choice. She is innocent. My decision to involve myself in this series of crimes was mine alone. I ask only that you leave my wife and daughters alone. This is my confession, Leonard Lambros. We knew it. We called it. So Pierre was my dad? He wrote this whole confession, but it never made it. It's been here ever since. I can't believe it. Well, it says right there. I... No, I mean rhetorically, Tess. Jeez. Right, right. Uh, I... <sighs> So my mother wasn't having an affair at all. Or whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <laughs> so my father ha hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack. He was just here, on this dock. We never Bastard. got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. It kind of did happen though, didn't it? As far as you knew, it did. You lived with that your whole life, so... So... To you, it did. <sighs> I can't believe I... I can't believe he just... Abandoned us. All this time, he was... Here. I, he gave up his family, his children. For an old boat and some booze. I wish I could have talked to him. Just one more time. And my mother living a lie for the rest of her life. I can't, I can't even imagine. I just wish I could have talked to her about it while she was alive. I just wish you could have been there for her. Yeah. If we could have just, she didn't have to carry all this alone. I can't believe she would do that to us, lie to us, her whole life. Why didn't she say anything, even when we were all grown up? Maybe, maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah, maybe. August was so little, but I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. So, that's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and... He never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I... I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. You don't want to hmm. keep going? Maybe we could find... No, I think we've found enough. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. He pretended to die. <laughs> but he really just left me, like everyone else. I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad. <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked Dad out. I mean... Well, it wasn't quite like that. I guess... Listen. 
I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm freezing out here. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Tess, thanks for doing this. For coming with me. Of course. And for pushing me. To find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately. But... But I am so lucky... To have such an incredible... Kind... Oh, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful... Hard-working... Stop, stop! You make me cry. <laughs> Just... Such... An amazing daughter. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. Hey, Mom. I was thinking about something. I wonder what Grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good question. What do you think? I don't think she'd be too happy. Now, girls, I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. So you asked about what happened with me and Dad. Uh-huh. Well, your dad, you know, was always looking for the next thing. I always had a new idea to try that was going to fix all his problems, our problems. And for a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing, and then he decided that he was going to be a professional poker player. Is that what you meant by full-time gambler? Yeah. I mean, not really a gambler. He's not playing with his own money. It's all tournaments and stuff. They're playing as a sport. That's kind of cool. It's certainly, uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's following his dreams. He might not make it, but he is going for it. Mm, yeah. I mean, I guess I never really thought about it in that kind of light. I mean, I wish he could have been here, but he had a dream, and he had to follow it. I get it. Right, right, my little web entrepreneur. It's like Matt Damon in Rounders. It's not really like Rounders. I mean, he wins a lot in Rounders. And he's a lot more handsome. He must really like poker. He likes it. But I wouldn't say that's the real reason he left. The split came at a really hard time. The theater was doing worse, and I was spending all my time there. Then your grandmother started really declining and needed more and more help. I think... When I decided we needed to move in with her, to care for her, well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for. So he left for Nevada. He wanted to stay married. Said we could make it work. But by that time... It was already over. Yeah, exactly. I realized that this... This was a pattern that would never really end. Do you blame me for ending it? I just wish he was here. I miss having him around. Yeah. It's hard to have a dad who just... leaves. At least I can still text him. For you... I mean, we thought he died. Which was still awful, but... I guess it was way better than knowing he was there all along, just a day away. I'm sorry, Mom. Thanks, Tess. I'm glad that... Well... Your father has faults. But I don't think he'd ever fake his own death and never talk to you again. I mean, if there wasn't anything good about him, I wouldn't have married him in the first place. I'm sorry... for buying the tickets. Oh. I should have talked to you first. I guess I thought... I don't know, that dad, like, explain everything to me in a way that made sense, and that he was living some great life out there. No, you... you shouldn't apologize. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I... 
I guess I was embarrassed. That I would have married such a ding-dong. Professional gambler. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. But I guess you can't keep running away from your problems forever. Now I have these tickets and I don't know what to do. I think you should go. To Reno? Yeah. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. We may not always get along, but he's not a bad guy. And you guys have a good relationship. You should spend some time with him. I think it'd be good for both of you. Uh, are, are you sure, Mom? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh, God, no. And Miss August's mac and cheese? Fat chance. I'm proud of you, Mom. <sighs> for what? What do you mean, for what? You're kick-ass. How many moms would stop packing up their house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family secret? Or run their own business, run a community theater? That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective, but it is pretty cool. Thanks, honey. That, I mean, that means a lot. And speaking of businesses, that's pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah, it's exciting that people are willing to pay me to design websites. Well, I've seen what you can do, and you do a great job. Oh, thanks, Mom. I'm serious. When I saw your web stuff, I mean, I don't always know what I'm looking at, but I know it looks good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> An artist's eye, just like your grandma. And my mom. But maybe it skipped over my aunt. <laughs> oh, come on. Her painting wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford, like Grandma and me. It's silly, but, but it's not fair of me. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Like seeing Kurt? Yeah, exactly. Amongst many other things. But yeah, it's hard to let go, to see you as an adult, not just my baby girl. Mom. You were so cute back then, even cuter than now. Stop. <laughs> and you had the biggest head. Everyone said it. Everyone said, that's the baby with the biggest head. Bowling ball head, the bowling ball baby. <laughs> yep, and it was all your dad. On my side, we all have perfect, tiny little heads, like golf balls. Mm-hmm. So. What do you think about the whole August thing? Moving in with her? Yeah. I guess it's a big decision, moving to Chicago. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Would you want to move in with her? I'm not sure. What about the Andromeda and Francine? It means starting over, kind of. Yeah. But it could be nice to get a fresh start. We've been through a lot of big changes this year. You've been through so many big changes. But I mean, we're making it work. And whatever we decide, we can make it work. I'm confident in that. Yeah. Me too. We should call August and tell her about all this. Oh, hey August, guess what? Our dad really is our dad. You can sleep easy. We're not French-Canadian after all. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we end up doing, I'm just glad... I'm glad you're with me. Yeah. Me too. Well, that was a nice little change of pace wasn't it very much nice chilled relaxing game to kick start the day off with and i appreciate you guys hanging out and uh, watching this game it's available on xbox game pass if you want to play it if that's your thing 
you can do it. Anyway, guys, I shall be back with my next stream uh, over on Twitch. Um, it is time to do some more stranded... What's it? Death Stranding, that's it. <laughs> Death Stranding. I was highly recommend um, tuning in live for that one because after the fact, the music gets copyrighted and gets um, audio out. So the sections when the music is playing where there's zero audio. But anyway, and it's only on Twitch. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for hanging. Catch you later. Ciao, ciao, everybody.